Hi everyone, Baker on the Dark Side. I'm gonna do an Is It Healthy segment. And today's lucky thing is new on the market. It's from, whoo, it's from Dave's Killer Bread. Uh, Dave's Killer Bread is uh, in the supermarket aisles. It's an organic bread company that has now come out with um, these bars, these organic snack bars. I'm very excited to try this. I hope it really is healthy. Um, it says it's organic and it's called Cocoa Brownie Blitz. So, you know, it's got a little bit of sugar and stuff in it, but you know, he says it's, uh, it's organic. He says, according to the back of the package here, he says no uh, high fructose corn syrup, no artificial preservatives or ingredients, always power packed with whole grains, um, USDA organic and non-GMO, always made with killer taste and texture. That's pretty funny. Okay, so let's see what's the stats. So this whole bar is one serving. It's 200 calories. It has a total of eight fats and two saturated fat. So it's gotta be some butter or something. You know, you gotta have something in here that's gonna create the saturated fat. Cholesterol zero. The sodium is low, it's 60 milligrams. Carbs are 32, this is not gonna be a low carb food. Uh, fiber is six, so it's kinda up there in the fiber, that's nice. 10 sugars, uh, nine are added, so. It's a brownie. You're gonna have added sugar. Nine's a lot, but it is a brownie. Uh, protein is three grams. Okay, so can I read all the ingredients? He says it's organic. Uh, organic whole wheat flour, organic brown rice syrup, so sugar right there. Organic rolled oats, organic cane sugar, because you can't have the brown rice sugar and the cane sugar. Organic uh, agave fiber, more sugar. Uh, organic sunflower oil, water, organic semi-sweet chocolate, which of course contains sugar, um, organic cocoa butter, soy lengthen, organic malt extract, palm oil, or it's all organic, organic cocoa, organic whole oat flour, contains less than 2% of cornstarch, um, sunflower kernels, flax seeds, which are good for you, dry roasted almonds, chia seeds, that's nice, um, and baking soda, salt, and natural flavors. It does contain wheat and soybeans and almonds for my nut people and soy people. That's not going to be for you. So, you know, it's a brownie. All right, let's give it a try. A uh, slightly healthier brownie. I hope it tastes good. All right, so there it is. This is what it looks like. So it kind of looks like a cookie. Okay, the bottom, a lot of oats. You can see the oats in there. All right, we're gonna break it open. So it is soft. That's what it looks like. Okay, let's see what it tastes like. It's kind of, it looks dry. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> okay. So, have a drink with you. <laughs> it's very dry. On top of being dry, the oats are very chunky. It's, it's like eating chocolate oatmeal out of the canister <laughs> okay so if you can get past that you're eating pretty much very chewy chocolate oats it does have a chocolate flavor a good chocolate flavor i can see where the fiber's coming from that's all i'm going to say about that um they're to dry though. I mean, if you wanted to dunk it in your coffee, maybe. I, mean, I don't know how you could make it chewy and dry, but it is possible. <laughs> All right, will I buy it again? 
Um, you know, it was $6 for the box for four. And I don't think this would curb my chocolate craving at all. And this is 200 calories. I mean, a brownie can be 200 calories and tastes a whole lot better. Is it healthier? Yeah, it's definitely healthier. But I don't think I could get past this buckwheat, oat, oh, grainy. Literally, it's like if I took a spoon, put it in to my oatmeal and put it in my mouth. That's what it tastes like. But hey, give it a try. Maybe you like it. <laughs> Maybe you like it chewing oats like a horse but I don't so Baker on the dark side really dark today